Hey gang, it's me. Just woke up from a freaking weird sleep here. So I'm here in the darkness where I thrive. Very cringy. But I feel like I needed to wake up because this has been on my mind for a pretty, pretty decent time. And it's the whole thing about movies and the whole thing. Dang, what happened to my phone? Oh, okay. Anyway, it's this whole thing that's going on with things getting unnecessary sequels, TV shows, or actual remakes, and it's honestly crazy. I don't need to tell you guys all about like what, like how many sequels and remakes and TV shows about the same IP is coming out because it's it's just so many that's happening. There's, I'm pretty sure there's like there's only like a few that I'm actually pretty excited for, and that's um, that's more on a two, and it used and it just came out Inside Out two, which recently just came out, and those both Disney movies I think so they are, um, so those ones I'm actually pretty excited for the rest, or oh, from what I know I'm not, it's just those it's just the amount of things the amount of I don't know how to say it. I'm so tired. Um, it's just there are so many IPs out there that are just getting unnecessary remakes and all that. Because no one wants to watch new original things. Nobody watches it. Like, how many of you guys heard of the, the TV show The Peripheral? Exactly. I've seen, like, one episode of it. Shut it off immediately. <laughs> or, like, um, like it's, it's just like just nobody wants to watch anything that isn't. An IP that's like a popular thing, like they won't, they don't want to watch something like The Peripheral. They want to watch like a The Boys movie, or they want to watch a Moana TV show. Like you know what I'm saying? Like they want to watch something they know because they know it, and they're scared to watch any other things because that's what they're used to. They're used to doing that, and that's the crazy thing. That's the wild thing. I mean, it's not the company's fault. It's, the, it's actually a really good mocking thing. Like, if you make something that has a built-in audience, you're gonna have audience no matter what. Look at Joker, the, the new Joker movie, Joker, I think, Floyd Dulux. That had a built-in audience. Basically, anybody who watched the Joker movie, watched that movie and crumbled to pieces. But that's not the point. I'm saying that there was recognizable IP. Because mostly, because nobody watched original things. Like, there was so many... Like, TV shows like that just has, like, unnecessary remakes. Like, Scooby-Doo with drama flopped. Um, what else? As I said, Joker 2 flopped. Uh, but it's, it's just, there's just so many. Jurassic World used to be good, but now it flopped. Like, I can go on and on. But there were so many things that are just getting so many unnecessary, you know, like, remake sequels or whatever that just don't deserve a sequel. Like, something that should be standalone, like an actual, like, standalone movie, shouldn't be getting a sequel. Like, alright, let me fill, let me give you an example. Interstellar. Interstellar was a absolute masterpiece, top to bottom. Like, it's, I don't see any flaws with that movie. Almost a freaking 10 out of 10 for me. That movie does not need to have a sequel. Like, I don't think it should have a sequel. I'm pretty sure Christopher Nolan knows that, which is why he didn't, never made a sequel about that movie. Because the way that movie ended was... How it was supposed to end It was a good ending to a movie And I feel like if they were to ever Make a sequel for Interstellar It would flop immediately And it would just be so bad Think of like also Disney cartoons That had sequels like Little Mermaid Cinderella, Mulan Like I'm pretty sure none of you guys have seen the sequels To those cartoon versions of the show Even Mulan got a Live action and it flopped Lion King got live action. Actually, two Lion Kings got a live. Well, actually, two movies of Lion King, which is like the Lion King and uh, I think like the Lion King Mufasa or something like that, both flopped. Um, so it's honestly wild how many like recognizable IPs there are in this entire world because people don't want to watch original things, which is it's just kind of crazy. But it's not the well, it is, it, well, I don't know how to say it, because if they just keep doing this, they're going to make money no matter what, even if it flops or whatever, 
they'll still make money from it because there is a built-in audience into that TV show or movie or whatever sequel or I don't care but you know what I'm saying there were so many recognizable recognizable IP out there where people just don't want to watch original things it's honestly wild or if it's original most likely it's from a comic book like The Boys or Invincible or every single Marvel movie out there and Marvel is also a big part of this I spit everywhere but Marvel is also a big part of this well, they just made so many things like Thunderbolts, Agatha all along. Like, do you see it? Alkalite, do you see it? You see it? The Mandalorian Gogo movie. Like, everybody's a victim of this. And it's wild. We can't have anything original anymore. Because people don't want to watch original movies anymore, TV shows or whatever. It's crazy. So, right now we're living in an era where movies, TV shows, and all them are just sequels. Or sequels, prequels, remakes, live action adaptations, TV shows, TV, a TV show to that TV show, a spin off. It's just, it's honestly wild. There's nothing original anymore. It's boring, it's sad, and I feel like we need to just watch original things just so we have like a brand new thing to look at. So it's not always the same thing over and over and over again. Obviously, there were some like exceptions to this, like in my opinion, but. It's crazy, like, we don't, we, we don't need things like these. Like, if it's a standalone movie or TV show, there doesn't need to be a sequel. Hot take, El Camino for Breaking Bad did not need to happen. I don't think that movie needed to happen. I feel like the way, well, kind of. Uh, I think half of the movie was good, but the freaking El Camino just did not need to happen. Like, it was a good movie, like, no, don't get me wrong, it was a very good movie. But El Camino did not need to happen. It just didn't happen to happen. It, j it ended Jesse's story pretty fairly. But, you know, it it's crazy. It's wild. There's nothing original anymore. That's it. Thanks for watching.